Hi guys, welcome to Lidgyan. This is the final part of MCQs in Modern Writers based on Routledge. The first question is, what is the name of the utopian novel written by Aldous Huxley? Well, we all know his dystopian work, but he has also written a utopian counterpart to the novel Brave New World. So you have to identify the name. Your options are A, the doors of perception, B, heaven and hell, C, island or D, chrome yellow. The answer is C, island. Island is a 1962 novel, the author's final work before his death in 1963. It is Huxley's utopian counterpart to his most famous work, the 1932 dystopian novel Brave New World. It is the account of Will Farnaby, a cynical journalist who is shipwrecked on the fictional island of Palau where a good and optimistic life exists. This world is however eventually destroyed by a brutal and materialistic dictator not only echoing the political threats of the 1920s and 30s but also reflecting the terror of a post-war world which now possessed nuclear weapons. Moving on, the title of Huxley's Brave New World is an ironic quotation from Shakespeare's The Tempest. Oh brave new world that hath such people in it. These words were spoken by which character in The Tempest? A. Ferdinand, B. Miranda, C. Caliban or D. Ariel? The answer is B. Miranda. Brave New World depicts a scientifically perfect society based on a caste system in which human beings are conditioned to occupy a place on a social scale. Manual workers known as Epsilons are brought up in nurseries and are segregated from intellectuals who are known as Alphas who are brought up in a different environment. Both groups are conditioned to accept their social position. Who described Dorothy Richardson as inventing the psychological sentence of the female gender? A. George Eliot, B. Pat Parker, C. Barbara Prime or D. Virginia Woolf? The answer is D. Virginia Woolf. It was Dorothy Richardson who used the stream of consciousness most fully. <clears throat> the three sisters echoes the lives of the Bronte sisters in its recounting of frustration and creativity. It is a work by A. May Sinclair. B. Pet Barker, C. Dorothy Richardson or D. Kathleen Mansfield? The answer is A. May Sinclair. The Well of Loneliness holds a significant position as a major lesbian novel of its time. It caused controversy and was prosecuted and banned. It is a novel by... The banning of a novel is a very important for information. Do remember this point. Your options are A. Catherine Mansfield, B. Redcliffe Hall, C. Janet Winterson or D. May Sinclair. The answer is B. Redcliffe Hall. It was republished in the year 1949. Which of the following is a book on Nuremberg trial by Rebecca West? A. Return of a Soldier, B. In a German Pension, The Meaning of Treasure or The Life and Death of Harriet Friend? The answer is C. The Meaning of Treasure. Here are some information about the Nuremberg trials. You can pause the video, take your time and read it. Moving on with the questions. The return of a soldier is the first major description in literature of what is meant to come home from the war, shell-shocked and effectively destroyed as a man. It is the first novel by A. Rebecca West, B. Rosamund Lehman, C. May Sinclair or D. George Moore. The answer is A. Rebecca West. Which novel of Rosamund Lehman deals with the theme of homosexuality? A. Dusty answer, B. A note in music, C. The weather in the streets or D. All of the above. The answer is B. A note in music. Dusty answer handles a young woman's emotional and sexual awakening in a way that is not far from the style of D.H. Lawrence. The weather in the streets takes its heroine through a failed marriage, adultery and abortion. Moving on, Elizabeth Bowen's The Last September is set against the backdrop of a. First World War, B. Second World War, C. The Troubles or D. The Spanish Civil War? The answer is C. The Troubles. The fight for an independent Ireland from 1916 to 22. Samuel Beckett won the Nobel Prize for Literature in which year? 1961, 65, 67 or 69? The answer is D. 1969. Which novel of Evelyn Waugh satirizes public school life? Paul, the protagonist, is... Fellow teachers are either petty criminals or mad by showing how the characters of the ruling class are formed. A. Decline and fall. B. Wild bodies. C. A handful of dust. Or D. None of the above. The answer is A. Decline and fall. It depicts the innocent adventure of a young man, Paul Pennyfeather, who becomes a school teacher in a seedy school in North Wales. Moving on. 
The novel The Aerodrome is a Kafkaesque parable, reflecting the increasingly pessimistic outlook of the 1930s Europe as the decade shifted from idealism to civil and then total war. It is written by A. William Gerhardi, B. Edward Upward, C. Rex Warner, or D. Forrest Reed. The answer is C. Rex Warner. Tom Barber trilogy comprising Uncle Stephen, The Retreat, and Young Tom is written by whom? A. William Gerhardi, B. Edward Upward, C. Rex Warner, or D. Forrest Reed. The answer is D. Forrest Reed. Forrest Reed has been called the greatest Ulster novelist, but he does not allow his, the troubles in his province to color his writings. Rather, Reed uses his novels to explore an ideal world of innocence. His Tom Barber trilogy comprising Uncle Stephen, The Retreat and Young Tom traces the passage from innocence to awareness in the hero Tom as he goes from age of 10 to 15. The Berlin novels Mr. Norris Changes Trains and Goodbye to Berlin that uses cinematic techniques are written by whom? A. Christopher Isherwood, B. Edward Upward, C. John Copper, Powis or D. Evelyn Waugh. The answer is A. Christopher Isherwood. The Berlin Stories is a book consisting of two novellas by Christopher Isherwood, Goodbye to Berlin and Mr. Norris Changes Trains. It was published in 1945. I am a camera with its shutter open is an important line from this book. The narrator says I am a camera and proceeds to tell his stories with a kind of distanced objectivity a camera can lend. Mr. Norris Change Streams was published in the US as The Last of Mr. Norris. The character of Mr. Norris is based on Gerald Hamilton. Moving on with the final question of this video. The writer concocted a fantasy world, Mortimer, which appears in his work The Railway Accident and Other Stories and is also described in Isherwood's Lions and Shadows with the writer being the character Ellen Chalmers. Identify the writer. A. Rex Warner, B. Llewellyn Powys, B. Edward Upward or D. Walter Greenwood. The answer is C. Edward Upward. Mortimer is a kind of antidote to the profoundly negative forces which were working against the idealism of the early 1930s. Edward Upward has also published a trilogy in 1977 known as The Spiral Accent. That is it for today. You can leave your doubts in the comment section below. Till then, happy learning.